Grindelwald is one of the most popular places to visit in all of Switzerland. This fairy tale village in the Jungfrau region is the jumping off point for many hikes and viewpoints to see the surrounding mountains of Jungfrau, Monk, and the Eiger. One of the best things to do in Grindelwald is to spend some time exploring Grindelwald first. In this video, we're going to take you on a hike to Back Alpsy, get your heart pounding on the first flyer, take a walk in the clouds on the first cliff walk, and go speeding down the mountains on a trotty bike. Are you ready to explore all the best things to do in Grindelwald first? Let's go! The Grindelwald Fairs Gondola is a 25 minute ride from Fairs Station in downtown Grindelwald. It costs 32 Swiss francs when using your Swiss travel pass for 50% off and includes your return ticket. Many people come up for only one day, but there is accommodation at Burgess House Fairst with full amenities. The scenery up here is amazing. I really highly recommend staying up here. Uh, because it gives you an opportunity to experience it without a lot of people around. Something you have to do when you come here to Grindelwald. All right, the clouds are coming in and out. So uh, before the clouds come back, I'm going on the cliff walk because I think I'll be freaked out on here if the clouds come in. Take a look. You ready, Dave? I'm ready. Off the, the first cliff walk here. It's a bit foggy. The first cliff walk by Tiso is free to enter and you can walk it as many times as you like. The walk starts along a metal walkway clinging to the side of the cliff and extends out 45 meters over the void. All right, we are walking along the cliff walk. The clouds have come in, so it's a little spooky. There's a vertical drop down there, but I can't see a thing. Dave's up there, far, far away. He's braver than me. And this is what you normally see here. The Eiger North Face. It's somewhere right there. <laughs> it's pretty ominous, but I can only imagine what this must look like when it's all clear. Probably beautiful views. It is a little bit freakier actually not seeing what's all around you. You kind of feel like you're walking in the clouds. We had rainy weather during our time at Grindelwald Fierst, but even with the clouds rolling in, the walk was a thrilling adventure. This is fantastic! While we were here, the clouds just opened up, so now we can look down and see it. Oh, the clouds came back in as fast as they went out. What a view! <laughs> on your way down from first bond you can actually do the glider and the flyer down and then you can hop on the go-karts and then do the trotty bikes so you don't have to do the gondola all the way down but if you don't feel like doing those adventures you can also take the gondola all the way down to the bottom we felt like doing those adventures and did the first flyer and the trotty bikes you can choose as many as you like. 99 Swiss francs covers all four, or you can do only one or two, starting at 50 francs. Prices are using the Swiss Travel Pass, which gives you 50% off. Okay, we're about to get on the first flyer. Maximum speed is 84 kilometers, so we're gonna be booting it down the hill here in the Swiss Alps. Woo! Here we go! I'm in Switzerland, just <laughs> flying down the Alps. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Good fun. Excuse me, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Okay, so. Okay, have fun. Okay.
Grindelwald Fierce is certainly one of the most beautiful places on Earth to go ziplining. Awesome. It was like 84 kilometers an hour. I actually, now I know what it's like to go 84 kilometers an hour in a first flyer. Not that I could actually gauge whether I was 83 or 84, but here in Switzerland it's 84 kilometers an hour. Awesome. It's downhill on the trotty bike here in Grindelwald. From the Fierce Glider, you can either take the mountain cart down to the trotty bikes at Bort Station, or you can hop back on the gondola. We recommend doing the mountain cart as the views from the higher levels are amazing. From Bort Station, it's then all the way down to Grindelwald on the trotty bikes. The Trotty Bikes! The Trotty Bike is a downhill scooter ride that is fun for the whole family as you can go as fast or as slow as you like as you take in the gorgeous views of the Jungfrau region and surrounding mountains. The path takes you on less frequented roads so you don't have to worry about too much traffic or pedestrians and it goes all the way down to the village. Trotty Bike! Trotty Bike! Dave and I love cycling, so we let go of the brakes and sped down as fast as we could. It was the thrill of a lifetime. It was heaven coming down. This is the way to come down the mountain on one of these trotty bikes. It's fantastic downhill all the way. You gotta do it, man. It's like downhill mountain biking, well, without a seat. Our next Grindelwald Fierce adventure takes us back up the mountain to one of Switzerland's most recognizable viewpoints. We are starting our walk from first to Bach Alpsi and it looks like the skies are starting to clear. It's going to be a beautiful day. Even if it's not, it's so ominous with the clouds and mist. Absolutely beautiful. Take a look. The hike to Bacalpsi takes about one hour and is one of the most popular hikes in Switzerland. It takes you out to an alpine lake with striking views of the Schreckhorn Mountain reflecting in the water. We didn't have the best weather while hiking out on this trip, but luckily we had visited before and caught a glimpse of what makes this hike so attractive. It's a beautiful day for a hike in the Swiss Alps. When you come to Grindelwald, you want to make sure that you do several hikes and spend a few days because each hike is different and offers different views of the mountains. Each day is different because the weather comes in because you're high at higher altitudes. And it's really special to get these different kind of climates that are coming in and out of the region. The sun finally came out. How spectacular is that? Pretty spectacular. We made it out to Bacalpsi. This is the lake behind me. And normally you have an incredible view of the mountains right through the valley there. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's gonna clear up, but we're gonna stick around for a little bit to see. But either way, it is a wonderful hike. Pretty easy. It's probably only about a half hour out if you go nonstop. And uh, it's very serene. When you come out to Bach Alpsi, there's a nice little journal waiting for you here in this little canister. And a lady named Simone has said to leave a little message for her on your views of the area. So I'm gonna write a little note to her and say hello. I feel like I'm walking around in a Bob Ross painting. I agree. A trip to Grindelwald first will be one of the highlights of your Switzerland trip. Make sure to stay overnight at Burgast House first as the weather changes frequently and it gives you two chances to see the lake with a clear view.
There are hostel and private rooms. A buffet breakfast and dinner is included. Plus, you'll have the lake all to yourself at sunrise or sunset. And these are the adventures you can do when visiting Grindelwald Fierst in Switzerland. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe because we put up new travel videos each week and you don't want to miss a thing. So make sure to click on that bell for notifications.